Neighbors are coming together to take a stand against crime. A rash of home break-ins hitting their neighborhood in the Northwest Valley, and police say the crooks are getting younger. News Priest Kelsey Thomas live at Metro headquarters with a look at what's being done to stop them. Well, Jim, it is a troubling trend. We're talking about far too many young faces in handcuffs. And not only that, police say oftentimes victims can be too complacent. They have a false sense of security when it comes to home burglaries. And this is all happening in Metro's biggest territory. Let everyone know that we're here and we care and, uh, you know, that we're taking action against some of these violent activities that are, that are occurring. They came together to promote peace. Neighbors, churches and police together in a Northwest Valley Park. Each person here to say enough. The Northwest is an area that keeps growing, creating more opportunities for crime. While overall crime is down in the area, home burglaries are up 11%. Many of those crimes of opportunities, too many unlocked windows and doors. Like a lot of parents in the Northwest, Elisa Head is concerned about crime and this is a step in the right direction. I just hope that it will help people kind of grow some relationships so that they get to know everybody. Everyone's going to band together and try and keep it a safe and peaceful area. Part of the problem, police say younger suspects committing serious crimes. In fact, in the last month alone, 10 kids were arrested in the Northwest. And when we talk about 10 kids being arrested in the Northwest, it wasn't just for home break-ins. It was for all sorts of crimes, including a case that sort of went viral on social media. It involved a video that was posted online. It showed a fight between parents and kids. There was a lot of misinformation out there, according to police. But out of those 10 arrests, we're talking about two arrests were kids for that fight. Both of those kids, the suspects, are in junior high school. Reporting live tonight from Metro headquarters, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. Kelsey, thank you.